Good morning everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Lovely to have you join me, thank you. So I was just sitting here um, basically enjoying myself, playing with bits of paper and cutting things up and looking through the bits of Christmas papers that I've got left. And then I realised I probably should be filming, <laughs> filming what I'm doing, like there's people out there who want to see it. So all I've done is grabbed everything together, put it into a, a pile and I'll go through um, any bits that I've just been playing with, I haven't been doing anything major at all, literally just playing. Let me just hang this microphone wire up. Um, yeah, and then I'll carry on from there. So you can see on the top of the pile this beautiful doggy um, that I've made into a topper that's going onto this um, envelope cover and I'm going to make a journal with. Um, that was yesterday's video. So the last video we, we saw and um, we did these envelopes. So that one I've stuck the thing on, the rest I haven't. So the coin envelopes with the six by six papers. So you'll notice there's one or two there, the top ones were the ones that went wrong and I had to resize, but you know, it was an easy job when I wasn't on camera chattering away. So I've ended up with, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 16, and this will make 17. Yeah, so I ended up with 17 of those little coin envelopes to use. Um, and like I say, some of them want some little embellishments on, so whether I'll get to that on camera, hopefully I will, but we'll see. Um, whether it'll be today's video, I think this is going to be quite a long, um, not a long process, but over an hour's process. So I'll probably split it up into two videos. You see a bit today and a bit tomorrow. I've cut up, well, very nearly. There's a few corners still on. I'll just move those. The little plane tickets from, where is it? It's in here somewhere. Um, the Christmas numbers for the December Daily that came free on uh, Tanya at Tati Treasures Buy Me A Coffee site. And when I get to the paper, I'll show you it. And uh, Tanya's, if you're new here, because there are a few new subscribers, hello, you guys, you're very welcome. Um, yeah, if you're new, you won't know, but Tanya's, um, links are always in my description of my video so um, if i don't get to it i think i will and show you it you can always just go into the description and find whatever you need from tanya the facebook group um, her channel and the buy you know the buy me a coffee should all be there um yep so what else so i cut these these weren't cut were they yesterday that one was but if you remember i was having those two on the outside and those two on the inside if you were with me of this to make the cover so i just cut those all i did was cut them to size so you didn't miss anything very interesting there so these were the off cuts which i'm not going to put away i'm definitely going to leave on my desk till they're used okay so they're there um i'll come back to these in a minute so i was thinking about what i was going to put in basically in this uh, journal for some pages so i've got a book page um a book that i've taken apart I think it was Forever Friends, a Christmas story from Forever Friends, and they're really, really big pages. They're about the size, perhaps not quite, I was gonna say the 12 by 12 papers. They're probably about 10 by 10, I would think. And I've been trying to use them up and the, the images are just so big. Um, I haven't managed it so far, but I've, I have found a page here that I think I might be able to just fold over and get in. Um, yeah, you do just see a bear there, <laughs> toasting something on the fire, I guess. But yeah, you can see a bear there, can't you? And it's a lovely, um, it's a lovely image on that. So I'm, I'm going to squeeze that in to use it up. I think it goes with the, the doggy animal and red and green kind of images. Um, yeah, I'm going to have some music paper in there. And I've got an idea for it. I'll show you in a minute. This is just a piece of red, um, really thick paper, but that might go in as a page. This is, yeah, this is what I've cut off here. So I'll show you in a minute what I'm going to do with that. So I had two of these um, which aren't printed on the back and um, if you was with me yesterday you'll know I am waiting for ink. My instant ink has gone all haywire since I changed my computer, only the deliveries. So I'm hoping once I get some here this time it will sort itself out, we'll see. But I'm out of ink which is very unusual for me these days and most frustrating but I've got lots of papers, Christmas papers and of course the Christmas papers are time sensitive now aren't they? I want to get them used up. So um, 
that are not printed on the back um, a lot of them from last year actually not all of them but some of them and this is one from last year it is from a now is it Lena or Liana? I forget but it Liana scraps I think but it might be Lena but I'm thinking Liana scraps I've got two of those that's one um that are not on the back and this was the other one they're really gorgeous aren't they really grungy um pretty Christmassy so what I did, I cut that one down, because obviously they're portrait as well. I cut that one down and put it on some um, yep, straw paper, because I thought folded in half, that just extends it a little bit, doesn't it? Folded in half, that will be a, a page. Let's put it up there for now, which is where that bit came from, because it had to go, it had to go portrait. Yep, so I just chopped it off with a ruler, actually. Um, and then I thought, instead of doing the same again, that's where this came into and this is where I was <laughs> when I suddenly thought I really should be filming this I thought I might do the same got to have Santa on haven't we on some uh, music paper yeah and I chose the top half because it's got lots of um, space on it normally I would just cut it out and have all the, the music but um, yeah that's good for doodling on or embellishing on or whatever and again it it's a little bit wider so it will just I suppose we could even have some music showing around that. Cut it down quite a bit and have the music top and bottom. It might be nice. Um, yeah, it just extends it to make it a decent sized page. So that needs gluing on there. I have a pile of to-dos over here then. Um, th yeah, this is one of the cards from inside the... Um, right, scrap bits of paper, to-dos and pages, right that's a page over there isn't it pages yeah piece of card that came in those envelopes that i've used so i thought that might go in um i'll come back to this in a minute one of these gorgeous damask black damask bags from um tanya at tatty treasure um etsy also in my description um i know she's got some in different sizes as well so i'm going on to have a look um, later but i've really really enjoyed using these loads more things yet yeah, that i can be doing with them yeah, two pieces of um, A5. I don't know if you can see that one's even a little bit um, aged. I don't know if it's been in the sun with another piece of paper over it, something like that. That's what it looks like. Yeah, perfect for junk journaling. So I thought they're small-ish, but if they're folded over, they're not an awful lot smaller than that bag. They can be pages in it. Okay, so it's just a spare piece of um, straw paper that I got out when I got the other one out. And this is a piece of card um winter winter papers i think that i've printed onto thin card or thick and i think it's thin card um once used up but i haven't come up with an idea for that yet that's just in the stash this is the sheet from uh tanya tanya's um buy me a coffee now i have to say it's free i probably didn't see that earlier did i it's free on buy me a coffee she doesn't expect to pay for it it's just where you go to get it um she has got other things on there that are free and she's got other things on there that you can buy download and buy um, cheaply uh, it's just the place where you go and get the freebies for you've got to be a member of tatty treasure and friends facebook group uh, and if you're not why wouldn't you be because you know it's uh, you know she gives you some really good freebies and it's a lovely community so i'm always selling it aren't i should be a pr <laughs> uh, but it's true you know it's a it's a fabulous place okay so we're down to three sheets of paper this is item a's paper that i printed on copy paper i'm sure i've shown you it before um, accidentally so there was copy paper in the printer so i haven't printed on the back because it's not really strong enough for anything i've just kept it for collage or tags or something like that and then a few other bits in here that i haven't got out yet um all item a's so tags and collage paper yeah not not getting those out but i will soon they will be used up right so what did i move over here this so this was another artie maze um that wasn't backed and was on copy paper so i stuck it onto another piece of spare artie maze paper and i might as well do that now while i'm talking to you aren't I? um you know to make the it's an envelope i'm sure you can see that to make the envelope um, a decent oh the sunshine coming out we could do with it very cold here um, yeah a decent thickness for an envelope so and I don't know I'm thinking I might put it in the middle like I often do 
um, in a journal but until I put the journal together I don't know it might be a little bulky I mean I haven't a clue where this journal's going it is literally you know make it up as you go along a real junk journal and I'm making it up from all the bits I've got I'm not downloading you know or printing anything special for it it's not a kit I am just literally using up all the lovely Christmas bits and pieces that I've got kicking around I don't think it I might be wrong but I don't think it matters how well you put things away when they're going away you know like the Christmas stuff if it's going away for another 11 months or so you know it's hard to keep a lot of paper products in good in good order unless you've got you know some really brilliant storage and it's never touched and it's kept flat etc but um, yeah it's really hard to keep it in as good an order as it is when you first get it there's my ruler so I'm not uh, I'm not keen on yet yeah, now you could use your um, scorer that edge come up I might have to I've only just stuck the two together might have to white glitter it yeah you can use your scorer to uh, get your folds right or you can just fold them and go with your eye or you can do this with your ruler which I quite often do and I use all three of those um, ideas it just depends how I'm feeling at the time basically and today I'm not feeling in a folding it by eye and achieving a good crease <laughs> mood so I'm going to use the next best thing which is the ruler okay so that's got a nice it's thickened it up it's used a page I mean I've, I have printed this Artie Mays um, kit off a few times and used a lot of the paper so it's not wasted being inside there it uh, oh it's lovely isn't it um, but it is a page that I've printed used and out of the way it's only just fitting over there have I not creased it right? No. It's so, so much for the ruler being the next best. It's only a little bit shy, but it just made a difference at the top there where it met. Yeah, it's sideways on now. How very annoying. Right, so it's covering there. And only just there. Let's fold this down a bit more to get that ruler in again. Okay, what are you up to guys? Are you crafting? I hope you are. I know one or two people have said to me I've just watched you as I've gone out to work. Isn't that sad <laughs> that I'm sat here crafting you have to go to work? But that's it we all have to earn the pennies don't we that's quite nice actually isn't it shall we stick something on it while we're looking at it um it's probably if it's going to go in the book it's going to go in there isn't it and it'll be stitched in there so it'll probably be that way up um let's just see if we've got anything in here that needs using up haha -ha, i wonder if we have <laughs> um Nice label there. Just in the interest of using things up. Now I know this has come on one of the kits that I've had recently. I just can't think. And I want to say one of Nanine's. I'm reasonably sure it's one of Nanine's kits. Sorry if I'm rattling the microphone. It's it's kind of wrapped round me. I don't know where to put it today. Um, Glue page. I've had one out somewhere because I glued that envelope. There we go. And I knew I didn't use it on. So I'm going with Scotch glue stick on here. Yeah, so I'm obviously going slow today. <laughs> Not that I'm a very speedy crafter anyway. I'm a very leisurely crafter. That would be a good name, wouldn't it? The leisurely crafter. Um, but yeah, I feel like. I haven't inked it, I've kept it nice and clean there. I feel like I'm going even slower today. I think I've just got myself into a 
sit down and enjoy what you're doing mode. <laughs> now these all came on the, oh I haven't shown you yet, the other Arty Mage pages. Arty Maze. Um, should I just have a December 25th up there? Yeah, so with the, the kit pages that I've just shown you that I'm using up, that are printed on copy paper, I also had two pages of, I pulled out, I think I had more, two pages of tags that had done exactly the same thing. They were from Artimaze. They were, um, or they are, on very, very thin copy paper, which um, doesn't matter so much for a tag, does it? Because it gets stuck onto something else, but obviously I want to use them up. So that's done now, that can go in the dumb pile. Um, yeah, I cut them up because they had all these little bits on them as well. I just cut the tags up. So there's some tags and uh, journal cards in the shape of postcards. And they've all got the reddish hue colours on them. So I thought we could use up some of the leaves. Christmas papers to get as many of them on um, Christmas scrapbooking paper I should say that we can can we get any of the tall tags on here they're alive no the tall tags won't go on because these papers are in fact the short tags won't um, directional that way landscape that's it but these will go on won't they so let's stick those on and that will use those up obviously on the other side um what to do with my glue book really couldn't i what have i done with that it's here i can use a page and rip it I'll take that top page off it seems to have wax on it from my wax candle spillage the other day right Um, yeah, and then I need to get the fronts on those those toppers on that because they need to be drying before I start messing with it. Probably should have done that first, but make sure that's the right way up. I'll put it in the middle, and then I can get some nice straight edges with the um, guillotine when it's dry. Nice and quiet in the house again today, exactly the same as in yesterday's video. My nephew's in bed, I think. Um, hobbies at work. I. Uh, came down and just started playing straight away this morning so not done anything yet haven't uh, put the laundry on or washed the breakfast cups when i say breakfast i haven't eaten <laughs> washed the morning cups so i should probably just have another cup before i do that might as well do them all together and then came in here and started playing. I knew I had, I had a video to do, but um, yeah, I thought oh, I'll just do this, I'll just do that, and then he get carried away. I just kept going, and then I suddenly thought, oh my goodness, I'm sure people would like to be seeing this. I hope. Oop. So I've still, I think I said to you the other day, I've still got. Um, snippets the fabric snippets to do I want to do that on a video um, I've got a little a little bundle waiting to go so I might I might get that uh, video done today we'll see but like I say I think this this is going to take two videos sorry um, so I don't know if I'll get three done in one day I don't know if I do I'm very accomplished but right, let's just see if I've got something I'll put those on because would quite like to use them so 
I don't think I've got any papers big enough. I'm wondering if I'll go on some of those six by six Christmas papers, as I have quite a lot, as you know. Sorry about the rattle. And the small ones will. What about the big ones? Yes, they will. So some of these were really thick. Let me just have a I love that one. Double sided and I love both sides. Right, we'll save that. Um And that's quite thick. Oh, excuse my tummy grumbling. Somebody said cup of tea, it heard me. Gosh. Oh, hiccups now. I'll only get one on. But rather than put them away. Let's just grab four of those and just stick them on. I mean, I can't remember what I paid for this bundle of papers at the, uh, the charity shop, but it wasn't very much, so I think I can afford to be frugal with them. No, <laughs> I can't afford to be frugal with them. I, I, can, I can afford to be, you know, free and easy with them. Use them up, because in terms of what they cost me money-wise, it's nothing. Right, let's put that on a piece of paper because, sorry if you can't see me, I am just gluing off camera there. Um, yeah, I think the glue might go over the page because it literally just fits. So it doesn't quite fit. Mm, I think I'd rather have the top bit on. It's just that it's got that faux stitching on it. Oops. Uh, which I'd kind of like to keep at the top at the top more than anything. So if I lose oops. What are we doing here? Playing silly games now. If I lose any, I'd rather lose it at the bottom. Yeah, I am going to. Just, yeah, a tiny bit. So we'll just let that dry over there. Is that gluey? Not really. Is this one a little bit smaller? I have a feeling it is. Let's trim it right to it. Border. I've got a better idea than where it needs to be. Right, my next question is, is there a white border on that? There is. Only a tiny bit. I have a feeling that someone's photocopied this, which isn't allowed, I'm pretty sure, unless it was theirs. But they've got the white borders on. Of course, I didn't do it, so I'm not, hopefully, I'm not open to prosecution, but I'm just going to use them up. Naming of the shoes. Get it as close as I can. I think I've just about got that all on my super. And then I think these two. Stick these together so I can reuse them. These two might just go on one on their own. And just cut them a bit closer again just to get the idea of the size but I think they're going to go easy they are lovely so they're not um, going to be really thick tags Obviously the paper I'm putting them on is a nice thick piece, but th this piece that's printed on, like I say, is it's just like 70 or 80 GSM, it's just thin copy paper. It, it will rip without something holding it. That's why it would be no good for pages, I don't think. I won't be able to sew through the 
you know the signature strings would pull through it very easily they're pretty aren't they Those red poinsettias i think they are right let's have rid of all those little bits okie dokie so we have got drying four tags and do we have four post yeah four postcards um, which will go in at the end so we don't need them right now pop them on the floor at the side of me let's have a look what we oh yeah we we're going to stick the um, mats on to do the middle two first and i've put all that on the end and i was going to open it i might not though i might just leave it as a cover what shall we stick them on with um need a bigger piece of paper for gluing on hmm. i'm thinking if i'm not going to open it up and i'm not i've decided i think i'll use kalal and just go all over it don't think there's a oops let's get the right one they're on the outside don't think there's a right and a wrong way up well there is is there yeah but i don't think it matters i have to have them going the same way or opposite ways couldn't i um so let's just put this back one down and get cracking a little bit because time is i said i wasn't going to be too long as i'll split into two but i am being a slow coach today i know you love to see the actual uh, journal put together i really can't see that glue on there feels like it's coming out smells like it's coming out it's wet on the edges where i've got hold of it so i'm just wondering if i just should have put something down the middle of there to reinforce it too late now to do it beforehand I could always put something on top, couldn't I? A piece of lace or something. Alright, shall we have them? Um... Oh, there they are all going in the same way, no matter which way I put it. Noodle. Nothing says Christmas like a bit of red and green tart. Oops. Tartan, does it? Mind your desk, Denise. I gave it a good clean yesterday and I did notice that actually some of the red, if I use anything too harsh on it, I was using some alcohol wipes. Yeah, the red polish does come up off the desk, so I'm going to have to be a bit more careful with it. There you go. I think Kalal was the right thing to go with because it is quite quite strong paper, scrapbooking paper and that I say all the time that um, the craft card the envelopes made out of drinks, the glue yeah I like that, just rub my hands and I've got one a little bit higher than the other I probably have by looks of that I have hopefully it won't show when my papers are in I don't know what I was thinking well I wasn't thinking was I right so we'll just let that dry before I put the outsides on so let's start and build build some of these papers okay so I can get rid of that little ticket now so that's a paper I've got glue on my hands right so I said that was going in that's going in those are that piece of card that ooh, maybe the envelope let's put that there and my toppers put them up there so, the glue page that's maybe going in so these are all maybe pages there was something else i was going to do wasn't there yeah this this on the music let's just quickly do this and then i can put put my signature together so i've left that uh, 
haven't even trimmed that rough edge there. Let me just open the ink out. And just ink around. I'm not inking around everything, but I think I want to celebrate the paper's edge there from this old music book. And again, where I've torn it at the bottom there, I want some ink to, to show that it's torn and not precision cut. A bit of personality. So somebody asked me in the uh, comments on yesterday's video if I have any more uh, ideas for using up the 6x6 pages so I shall I'll be racking my brains because actually when she said it I thought yeah well I, I certainly have got a stash so using them up would do me, or using some of them up would do me the power of good too. Right, I want that side because it's got all the blank on it. Now do I want this cut so that can see a bit of the music below. I think I will and I think I've inked it but now I'm going to rip the top bit. Oh I haven't, it was the, it was the other thing I inked. So I'm thinking across there because there's like a rule in the book. Um, it's like a le an old ledger that's been decorated up with Christmas. cut side yeah I just that is the right way up isn't it I just like seeing that little bit of music at the bottom just gives it a little bit of something so then scraps uh, need a bigger glue sheet yeah, you can really tell when that sun goes in them um, strange to say temperature wise even though I'm indoors I know I'm on glass uh, I'm behind glass so that's but it's like I can feel it instantly unless it's all in my mind you know the mind is quite a strong tool isn't it but um, am I on the right piece of paper oh, I'm just gluing bit of a brain hiccup there I don't know what I was going to say then <laughs> nothing would come hiccup was the first word that came yeah, the sun's just gone in and I suddenly feel chilly. <laughs> and as I say it, out it comes again. It's going to be one of those days. I wonder if it's cloudy out there. Right, I kind of want you in the middle-ish. A bit of that music showing. Yeah, I've got my rings on again. I started taking my rings off to craft just because they bang so much on the table. If you wondered where they'd gone. <laughs> yeah, I like that. So there's two of those. It needs to dry a little bit, that. Um, let's have a look at these papers then and see what we've got and how full we're going to make it. Just rub my hands again. So I definitely want him in. I'm definitely going to have him that way, so let's let's fold him. You know, there's two hymns there actually. Yeah, I'll let the fireplace warm us for a bit. You know that that is just what it is. Um, I might collage in it once it's in. I'll see. Um, these were just going in half. Oops, that's my gluey finger. So yeah, I'm using quite a few bits up on this, aren't I? Starting to feel good. Yeah, that lovely bag. And this, which I glued earlier. You can see it's wrinkled a little bit with the glue, but not too bad. I quite like it on that that paper um, yeah so if I need more I could add some I'll have to dig it out though um, yes what is it that I need to dig out coffee tied paper there we go right so I quite like this bag and it's quite um, 
thin so I quite like that round that piece of card I'm thinking I'd like him, that village maybe in the middle maybe let's put it in and see so these small red pieces mm, no let's have a big big piece of straw around there these red pieces could go staggered couldn't they can you see that distressed mark on there like that what do we think to that um, so we have him on the inside instead of the outside so if I dare fold it while it's still wet yeah that's nice I like that yeah I think I do need some coffee dyed not too much because uh, maybe just one sheet yeah, some of them are going to need trimming down At least we can do some embellishing in it, can't we? It's a proper junk junk journal made up with all the bits. Yeah. So I don't think I want that in there because it doesn't really go with the blue centre. But it will be going in here somewhere. So the only other thing is, do I want this piece of red in? I think actually I know it'll want cutting down. There are too many reds together. Might go in there when the t between the card and the teddy. Yeah, and, and some coffee dyed in there as well. So that is um that's what the signature will look like if you can imagine it with the coffee dyed. You'll see it tomorrow anyway. So let's just get the front stuck on this. What have I done with it? Right, the front and back stuck on this. And I need to decide. I need to decide if I want something on the inside as well. Um, yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Let's stick him on. So, do I want to colour him on again? At least that will give me time to move him about, won't it? I think I will. I think I will. I know it makes everything a bit wet, but I try not to overdo it just so hard to see on the, the patterned paper. I definitely don't want it coming loose around the edge. Because the edge is plenty. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, sorry. I'm just getting quite close to it with my face so that I can uh, Oh, that's better if I tip it up, I can see where the glue is. That's much better. Yeah, so I can see that I'm covering it. Oops. So slide into place. Try and get an even amount all the way around. Yep, yeah, so I'm putting it nearer to this edge than I am the um, spine we may or may not cover that I don't know I can always put some more gold um, that's my cloth on I don't know what I've done with it I can always put some more gold uh, gilding on there if it needs it if I'm not going to cover it but I have got some nice got glue on there look come on just coming off I think that's it. Yeah, I have got some nice gold braid that might look nice on those art pieces as well. Must be coming off my hands, that's better. It's hard to see when it's matted if it's stuck down or if it's just a mat. I think it's okay, so I'll just get this piece down. Um, and then we'll call it a day for this video. Just 
have a quick look at the inside and that will be it and then tomorrow we'll sew that signature together and embellish it and that will be that done then I can get on with my, uh, my fabric snippets and uh, I've got the same thing to do with blue I've got loads of blue actually spare blue Christmassy bits and papers and what have you so I think I'm going to be making a big blue journal well not big normal size blue journal as opposed to a little a little scrappy one like this proper size cover that's what I meant as opposed to just an envelope right, that's gone on nice thinking something at the bottom there might be nice oops before you leave me let's just have a look at this something we're really fancying I wasn't really thinking a flower but oh itchy nose don't know if you can see in here or not it's got loads of little bits haven't I still to use up these are the things that I'm thinking I'm going to put some in the in those little um, envelopes and uh, send off to people. That's nice. It might need, need to be a tuck though. Right. I think it's nice on there just as a piece of embellishment. glue all over me. Right, which side does it open, that one? Do you like him? Do you like him on his own or do you like him with something written near him? No, the colours don't go, do they? No, let's just have him as he is. Just something to rest the eye on, as we say when it's tired of all that plaid. Yeah, somewhere to focus on. And that is a... I think it's from the Christmas Botanicals kit by Nanine at Collage Time. Oh, let's see. Oh, here comes the rain. I'm leaving just in time. Yeah, okay, so that's the cover done. The signature's nearly there, we just need a, a bit of fine tuning, a bit of uh, straw paper and then uh, yeah lots of the edges are going to need sticking. Um, uh, we did the glue a bit there, that was a lot on the nozzle, that's it. Um, yeah then we can embellish it and stitch it in and embellish it and that's another one done and bits used up might end up with something in the middle of it yet i don't know okay so if you've enjoyed it give me a thumbs up um talk to me in the comments but i'd love you to come back and join me again tomorrow to see what i'm up to have a lovely day for now though bye bye